Hello, my name is Clive Scott. This is uh, part 7 of a course on Java and it covers something called auto boxing. Uh, this is what I'm going to talk about. Um, I'm going to start with a brief, uh, a brief talk about uh, methods and parameter passing so you get some idea of um, why it might be a good idea to have um, wrapper classes for primitives. And then I'll discuss that and, um, and finally come to auto boxing itself and uh, give some examples. Uh, right, depending on how you look at it, um, primitives and reference types behave differently. And uh, here's an example that illustrates that. What we got is a nice simple class here, um, just contains an integer and the constructor sets that integer. And um, down here we got a method that takes an integer as a parameter and um, a second parameter of uh, type B. These, by the way, are called parameters, or they're also called formal parameters. And uh, what this method does is simply sets the um, variable i in the in the second uh, parameter to the value of the first parameter, and then it sets the first parameter at 99 and then it returns. So it's nice and simple. Right then. Um, down here we've got, uh, uh, we're going to do the call down here and uh, to start with we set j to uh, 88 and we construct a new version of b. So at this point here b.i is going to be 77. And then we do the call, uh, passing j and b. And um, down here these things are, are called arguments or sometimes they're also called actual parameters. And then we print out the result. And um, not surprisingly, j is 88 and uh, b to i is also 88. Uh, that's because this setting to 99 there had absolutely no effect on j, but uh, the setting of that parameter did affect b. Now, it's a slight difference in behavior there, um, and that is uh, significant, but it's what you would expect because. Um, what is actually happening, of course, is that um, uh, when this uh, call takes place, the value of j gets copied into that parameter, and the value of b gets copied into that parameter. Now, the value of b in this case is a reference. It's a reference to something of that class, an object of that class. That's why using that reference it's able to modify that. But uh, of course any modification to that has no effect. Now um, primitives are used and passed by value and in a sense so are all variables that are passed to methods. Um, that's the technical term for it. It's taking place um, uh, variables can, of course, can only ever contain primitives or references, or of course not. They never, ever under any circumstances, contain objects. So it's the value of that reference is what is being used or passed. And um, in, in this case of B. Um, which sometimes, of course, enables the object referred to to be modified. Okay, and now it's, it's that difference that is um, is uh, significant. So when you look at it from one perspective, there's a, a difference of behaviour taking place. But when you look at it, what's actually happening, it, it's the same thing that's taking place in each case. Is the value that's being passed. Now there's an um, absolutely huge amount more to say about methods and parameter passing and things like that, but um, this is just to give some sort of motivation for what follows. <laughs>